so. Oh, oh, it's going to be 21 on June 21st. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my but I walked around with it. I think oh, he's going to be here. Oh, oh. Yeah. This is a cousin and cousin and cousin. Cousin Medicare, but right. Yes. 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 Yes
I appreciate the uh, guidance you've given me over the years, particularly when I was getting out of college and needing to know a little bit about the military. I wish you another 70 years of uh, good health, fulfillment, and uh, nachas. It looks like with your family, all your grandchildren, you're on the way. So the best to you, and you all take care. I don't think the vegetables need to get some of it turned into a small But the new one is like a mall almost, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We're having a good time today at Uncle Mort's 70th birthday party. Everybody's having a great time. So stick around and you'll never know who you'll see today. I'm very happy to be at such a distinguished birthday party and I'm enjoying the food and the company. <laughs> it's a triple. many hours to come to the party. And I really do appreciate it, and I'm sure Mort does too. And I'd just like to say his mother, while she was shoving food down his throat and torturing him, and <laughs> probably never thought that he would live to 70 years old. <laughs> Most of you here know my father pretty well. And uh, if I asked all of you to give me one adjective to describe him, there's quite a few people here, so probably one or two of you might use the word stubborn. <laughs> but that's, that's got a negative connotation to it, I don't like that as much. I, the word I would rather use is dedicated. My father is a very dedicated person, he's dedicated to his beliefs and to his family, and we all really appreciate that. And to give you an illustration, when his first grandchild, Dakai, was born, you know, almost 10 years ago, uh, we were discussing baby photos. 
and at the time he reached in and he pulled out his wallet and I don't know if any of you have seen his wallet he's of the generation where your wallet is like this thick and it's not just your credit cards and your government issued ID but it has everything in it that would give somebody a really good idea of who you are all the photographs all the important documents that can show people where you've come from and where you're hoping to go. And he reached into his wallet and he pulled out a photograph of me from when I was, at that point, Zakai's age. So, in the hospital, basically. And I looked at him and I said, have you been carrying this exact photograph in your wallet for 30 years? <laughs> and he gave me this look, which I, I won't try to imitate because I can't do it justice. Um, but which basically said to me, you really have never understood me, have you? And I think that's okay. I think once you finally understand somebody, then there's nothing more to learn, and that's a shame. Uh, but what I understood on that day was exactly how dedicated he is to his wife and to his children and his family and friends, and I wanted to share that with you. So. So I'm not nearly as well spoken, so I have a designated speaker, my husband Josh, who has some prepared remarks. So I want to say happy birthday. And well, thank Daniela first for the ho being the hostess along with everyone else who helped prepare this and, and sponsor it. And um, very much appreciate all of her efforts in making this a wonderful party. Talk about my father-in-law. Um, Mort isn't just someone who's handy. Uh, he's not just someone who's uh, familiar with a toolbox, not just someone who knows how to work a drill. Mort is the MacGyver of home improvement. What's <laughs> 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 you MacGyver? When we bought this property, it was Andy a... Handy-mandy. Handy-mandy. <laughs> this whole area was actually a three room pup tent with no running water and one day Mort shows up with some two by fours, some spackle and a knife and this is what you get. <laughs> Look, it's like you can fix anything with anything. Let's say you have a jam toaster and all you have are nail clippers and some silly putty, call Mort, it's done. Your air conditioner is on the fritz and all you've got is like some, you know, some rusty, some, you know, a rusty spoon and, uh, and some wire strippers, he'll get it working for you. His handiness is so well known that in honor of his 70th birthday, Stanley Black & Decker <laughs> renamed their newest drill bit, The Mort. <laughs> he can fix, he fix toys, Nerf guns, kites, model airplanes, doll strollers, anything my children can break that grandfather can fix. <laughs> But his, his super handiness is not just limited to, to his family um, or his home. He's always there to help a neighbor. He's always there to fix something in the community, at the shul. He'll fix anything, anytime. In fact, Check in at my place for wherever a screw is loose, there you'll find more. <laughs> He's always looking to do more. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, 50 years ago, he was out there repaving his driveway and he finished before the tool rental, before he could bring everything back. He had a few extra hours. Well, you guys have heard of the New Jersey Turnpike, right? <laughs> what can I say? Uh, we're all very proud of Mort as, as, a, as a father, as a father-in-law and a grandfather. Um, around our house, he's a, he's a medic, a handyman, a Mr. Fix-It. He pretty much solves everything. If anybody saw the port swing, you put that up today. With Elliot. And you, you put a few uh, screws okay. in there. May your drill always spin. <laughs> may your hammer never hang low. And may you stay forever young. Happy birthday. Thank you. Well, I also would like to thank everyone for, uh, for coming today. Uh, it, uh, it's a lot of traveling for many of you. And I really do appreciate that uh, you were able to, uh, to take the time to be with us. Uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, friends and family. Uh, family, of course, goes back about 70 years. Uh, have friends here now. Uh, Miriam, we've known Miriam 
uh, since about 1971. And about the same time, we know Alicia and Marty. So that the friendships go back quite a few years. There are my direct friends, there's friends of the family, uh, friends that uh, my brother, uh, Jerry, uh, knew uh, many years ago. And uh, we've become, Judy and myself, become very close to them through the years. Uh, there are also friends from Highland Park also that I believe, let's see, which roommate? The Rosens? Uh, yep. Which school were, were you? Hen. Uh, but of course I knew, uh, I knew you before. Before Josh did. Just after. No, I think it was before. And actually I knew Jonathan uh, before, uh, who wasn't able to be here today. Yeah. Uh, so really, the uh, not only the family goes back many years, but, but the friends also. And we're very glad to have both, both groups here. And it really is saying that you know, you can't do much about your family, but you certainly uh, can do something about friends. So we're, we're very, very happy, very happy that the friends were also able to attend today. Anybody want cake? Very famous television line. Cake boss. I'm the big brother, this is the little brother. They, they said, be nice, talk nicely about your brother. So I will. It was June 12th, 1941, on a grand concourse in the Bronx, at the Royal Hospital he was born. Okay. The first couple of years of his growth were pretty normal. Then he decided to stop talking. He wouldn't talk. He never ate, but he wouldn't talk. So people were telling my mother, I didn't know at that time what a pediatrician was. New kind of doctor. Take him to the pediatricians. He should be talking. And finally, my mother takes him and the doctor examines him. He says he doesn't want to talk. That's all. So that may come as a surprise if, you, if you're socializing with more to believe that he never wanted to talk. It's not as big as mine, but there was a time he didn't need anything either. But that's changed. He's matured over the years. I heard Josh say he's very good at fixing things. He's so good that I bring stuff to New Jersey for him to fix. But in honor of his birthday, I didn't bring my chainsaw that I can't get back together. I can't fix things like Mort. I either fix them or they're broken beyond repair, at least for me. So he'll help me out if I bring it down here, but it's a little hard to bring big things. So it's got to be chainsaws, leather belts that have come apart. He can fix them. What else can I say about him? He's a pretty good guy all around for a brother. We love each other. I'm not sure we don't always argue, but we do love each other. And may you live many, many more years. Thank you. Back up. Everybody, Everybody come on back, back here. Back, 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 back here. Step back. Step back. We don't want anyone step to get ahead. Step back. Step back. Back over here. Please. 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 Please.
Julia, back here. Back here. It's my turn. I will win. Abby, relax. Relax. Do you want it? Do okay. you want it going like this? Okay, let's go. Stop. Come on, everybody, move away if you think you're going to be hit. Okay? So you don't do it so big, Z. Just put it in the middle. Just put it in the middle. She's hiding. Right, back, back, just let it go, Risky. Let, let it go. go. Let go. Me, you're at careful. Go! Good girl. <laughs> digging by digging you. Let's get out of the way. Oh, oh, and now there you go. Tell me a week away. Are oh, you reaching happy birthday? Yep. Meantime, we've given you the present one week before you deserve it. That's so okay. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Hi, Mort. It's Naomi. Just wonderful party. Really glad to be here. Seeing you so healthy with all your friends. And can't wait to celebrate next year. Mort, this is Cousin Jerome. I've known you for, I think, four decades now, maybe longer. And it's been a real pleasure. I wish you, if not 70 more years, at least 50 more healthy years. I like my grandpa. Hi, Mort. Happy, happy birthday. I'm so glad that I was able to share it with you. And I have something I need you to fix, so I'll bring it over next time. Fair? Um, anyway, happy, happy birthday. And I hope you like your gift. I thought it was perfect for you. And thanks for all the photos that you always send me. And um, Well, anyway, thank you for including me in your very special day. All the best. Happy birthday, um, Daddy. Um, it's a pleasure making this party for you. You're such an important part of our family and such an important part of our life. What would we do without Grandpa? And happy birthday.